was that intro? God only fucking knows. Hello visuals and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday where we have a pretty cool, fun little flexy flex flex. There's a lot of flexes going for the channel but I like it. I currently have my toe in the mouth of Godzilla. Not even joking. I'm lifting him up with my toe. Ah, uh, do I try and bring him over and show you? Because I think he's going to drop. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't want to spoil it as well because it's part of the focus. I'm going to flex. But his toe is physically... It, it kind of looks cool as well. Yeah, stay after. I, I, I just got a clip of that for the end of the video. Our, our own Marvel cutscene of Godzilla eating my fat, horrible, minging hobbit toes. Um, but yes, anyway, visuals, it is time for the Funko Pop collection so far. But we're not just doing that. I also got quite a nice haul of different... One, two, three, four, four different, five different Funkos that aren't a part of this set that I'm going to show you. Um, and they're all pretty fucking cool. They're all actually really fucking amazing. So, instead of doing a, like, a collection so far, I just thought I would do a flex of the latest Funko purchases. By a cunt. That's me. Because you guys love Funkos. I love showing off my new... Uh, what the lads at work would say, toys, and I have been tricked at the same toys before, but these are these are models. Well, a funk, what bracket does Funko fall under? Like the pop vinyl figures. It's just a little figure, isn't it? I mean, if I was a kid, I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would play with these. I don't think you really could, could you? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. And anyway, regardless, whatever the fuck they are, we have some really awesome things here to show you. So should I just shut the fuck up? Get back on my head, prick. No, open the rainbow bridge and the Bifrost. Uh, yeah, the, the the rainbow. Open the Bifrost. The rainbow bridge is. It will open the Bifrost and it will. The rainbow bridge is when you get to Heimdall's little little chill spot and you go across the rainbow bridge officially into Asgard. Do I even read comics? But wait, sit down, relax, chill out, uh, and uh, enjoy. Get yourself a cuppa and watch a fat middle-aged man. I'm well, I'm 28. Uh, near enough. I look, I've got the body age of a, of a 60 year old. Uh, watch him talk about his newest toys that he wasted his wages on. To me, it's not wasting. I love it. But you know, like when I don't actually have an adult caring for me and I need like to, I don't know, be smarter with money. Boy, will I be fucked. Yes. Are you ready, visuals? Let's do it. The uh, Marvel Zombies Funko Pops with a few extra sprinkles on top. Uh, collection so far. Funko Pop recent flex. Start off with the uh, the crown jewel of the recent collections. It's not to do with Marvel Zombies. Uh, but, oh my fucking God, I love this. Are you ready, kids? Really, Captain? Uh, ah! Ah! Yes, it's my giant Godzilla from Godzilla vs King Kong. Uh, I am not too far away from completing this set. Uh, to be fair, I went up to Smith's Toy Store to finish the set, but I stumbled across some other ones and I had to sort of like, oh, I can't afford everything. Uh, I split it out a little bit because this film, okay, this film recently came out, me and Chris talked about it on the podcast and whatnot. I absolutely love this film, and I, anybody that's long term viewers of the channel know I, I adore kaijus, especially. The OG, the main man himself, Godzilla. I fucking love everything about Godzilla. His past, uh, his old films, his his old battles, his his history. That's the same as his past. I think this guy's been involved in. Uh, I'm just such a massive fan. fan. And uh, me and Chris have got our both different thoughts and opinions on the on the, the Godzilla vs King Kong. Chris had his criticisms. Some of them I did agree with, but only with this film. I adored it because I don't give a shit about story. I don't give a shit about uh, if uh, stuff makes sense. I don't give a fuck about how that happened. I care about this guy fighting the big monkey. That was it. That is what I got. And I was so happy. 
But you better best believe I will be finishing this whole set. But look how fucking beautiful that is. That is absolutely amazing. I need to start taking pictures of my Funkos, I think. Like random ones. Like I can have him up against like... Like, a Goku, like my Goku or some shit. That would be fairly gnarly. There we go, visuals. That's number one. I'll put you in the background really anywhere because there's, there's just fucking Pokemon cards and shit everywhere. Fuck. Next up, this was just a nice little impulse buy, uh, and it's Taskmaster with his bow and arrow out, simply because I was in Smith's, right? Bear in mind, this is, this is mad. This film is not officially out yet. It should have been, we should have had it. And I was walking past, I had a little sale thing, three pound, and I figured, what the fuck? I mean, you're three quid. The film's not even out yet. I'll, I'll be stupid enough to, and I looked on the back, and it turns out, I didn't realise this, I've got five of them. The only one I'm missing is, um... Yelena, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I've got both Natasha's. Well, one's Natasha Romanoff, one's Black Widow. I've got both of them. I've got Taskmaster with Sword and Shield. I even have the Black Panther special downstairs Taskmaster. I've got Red Guardian. So Yelena, that's the only one I'm missing. Uh, so I thought three quid, I'm, I'm going to have to buy it. Um, should we do all the Marvel Zombies together? Uh, and we'll do the rest of the, the weird ones. Because next up, it is Venomized Gwen and Paul. And I actually have... Um, no, oh, that's Venomized Spider-Gwen. Uh, Gwen and Paul, Venomized there. What a fucking beautiful work of art that is. You see in the back, she's got... He, can you see? She has her sword out in the back. He, oh, you can't really you can't really tell. Um, and she's got a phone out, drumstick. Um, what a fucking beautiful Funko. Again, it's part of the first wave of Venomized stuff I think they did. Uh, we have them all. This is a special, special edition. I'm not sure special edition where from. I don't think it's exclusive to Smith's. But it's a special edition regardless. She is fucking awesome. This is a beautiful Funko. Nice to always add a new Venom, Venomized one to the collection. So we'll do a back-to-back -back because, um, I mean, if th th this one, I'll give this a, cl a clue to this first one I'm going to show you. If, if me and you were dueling right now, and I was this person way back in the day, not, not uh, as of now, uh, and we were dueling, I would have a certain object that would allow me to see your cards. Do you know who it is yet? Do you know who it is? It is, of course, Maximilian Pegasus. Maximilian Pegasus! Um, the um, Yu-Gi-Oh boy, the uh, smooth-talking, I'm not sure if he's gay or not, character from Yu-Gi-Oh. Awesome character, legendary character. Um, loves his Toon cards. I'm a Toon Army fan. Get the fuck in there. But, of course, as well, to finish it off, we have... Yugi Moto! Uh, not to be confused with, we do have Sato Kaiba and um, Yami up there. Uh, and on the back of these ones, we have Obelisk the Tormentor, who is down there. I'm not going to move him because Pete. Uh, oh, shit, I'll, I'll show you. I always feel like when I point out stuff, I just sound like I'm like, uh, there he is there. Uh, and if you look carefully, uh, in fact, I'll zoom in. There is Red Eyes. Um, beautiful little baby boy. Actually, he's not a baby boy, is he? It's, that's the normal Red Eyes. It's not Black Chick out. Uh, Blue Eyes is up there. Uh, we have Dark Magician Girl downstairs. There's an exclusive Dark Magician. There's a, an exclusive, uh, was it Malik, um, to get. And there's an £80 Amazon exclusive Slife of the Sky Dragon. So I'm only a couple away from completing. And we do have Joey coming in the post. Fingers crossed today. Hopefully he's getting today. I've ordered that from Chaos Cards because um, he had them two in. I thought, fuck it, let's go for it. Now, let's get on to the Marvel Zombie Boys and Girls. First off, we'll get this uh, out of the way because it is the special edition from the set. Uh, and that is Marvel Zombies. Zombie Rogue. Uh, look how cool she is. She was bought up at Smith along with these guys because the, the, the Marvel Zombie stuff I'm going to show you, I bought all from game. And she come from the Smith slot. That's why it was a big old random collection because it, I've had these ones for a week. Then I got these. But when the time to come, when it come time to record the video, I had them all and I thought I'd chuck them all in and I want to. Uh, but she's pretty cool. You've got like the, the, uh, the use and gunker up, up, um, falling away from her. But if you can look carefully in the back, she's like snapped her leg. So she's dragging that along. Uh, which is which is pretty fucking dope, but um, there's there's your there's your own. Love being a fat weird nerd. Who should we show off first? We'll show you first because you're probably my least favourite. Then we'll go for you. Uh, the fact you're not even uh, the fact you're all amazing. Shit on a dick. Go for these two first. It is Zombie Modok, the uh, the big bastard himself. Now the the next five because. I might as well tell you, we've got all of them now. So we've got all of the first wave, including the special uh, edition exclusive zombie daredevil up there. Uh, and we've got, who was on that? Deadpool, Hulk, Wolverine, 
Mysterio. I think they were the first four, uh, and then uh, whatever specials that they brought out with stuff. So we're doing quite well in this set as well. There'll be a few more specials that maybe I haven't got, to be fair, actually. That's, oh, wow, fuck, I'm just showing you that as well. There's Gambit. Modoc just changed to Gambit. Uh, there's Gambit. There's Modoc. Both, both fucking amazing. Um, they're, all of his appendages are still attached. Uh, obviously, um, his rib cage is showing. Um, he's obviously a, a, a zombie that's... that's in terms of how well a zombie can be, that's that's not too bad. I mean, he's he's lasting a little bit there. Uh, and Modok himself, obviously, the chair is somehow as well um, sort of bit zombified. In fact, as well, you're not too bad, are you? I mean, you're. I mean, your whole body's fucked anyway. You're mod. You are just disgusting. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool and as well. Modok getting a bit more popular at the minute in terms of. We've just had the Avengers game, he was the main villain, and of course his Hulu show, at the time this video goes up, I don't think it'll be out. I, I'm not sure it will be out anyway, uh, but he's got his own uh, show coming up, which is going to be fucking hilarious, because they're changing him from the serious character he is to this goofy, uh, you know, lead and aim, but also family man sort of shenanigans, so I can't wait for that. What are you two bad boys? I think if I had to pick, you would be my favourite, so we'll do you last. It is, of course, Red Hulk. I'm going to do a nice picture of him standing off against the green regular Hulk, uh, zombified. That will be a pretty cool picture to have. They do have black and white versions in the um, Mystery Minis, and we pulled the 1 in 72 rareness um, Hulk out of the zombie Mystery Minis. But these are popular Funkos. These are going to fly off the shelf in absolutely no time. They're beautiful. Like I said, there, there will be more exclusives somewhere because Funko loves to share. There's your shirt. But there's about 20 other ones that are special from different cons and different companies and different whatever. Um, but there's there's uh, the Red Hulk. Um, you get away there, son. Uh, Thunderbolt Ross, you're in the MCU. Are you going to turn red, please? Um, and, of course, it's everybody's favourite Asgardian. Uh, it's four. And maybe everyone's favourite god in Marvel. I mean, Zeus is pretty cool. Are you everybody's favourite god? Yeah, maybe. Um... Yeah, there's four. Wilder Mjormir. Mjormir's got some green splatter on him. Maybe he's been fucking up some other zombies. Maybe he thought, fuck this, I'm going on a, a rogue mission. He's not decayed too much. He's got one of them one of them top lips like a, uh, fuck off. Like, you know, sort of, he's better than you. Well, he is better than you. He, he's, he's a god. Um, uh, Ribcage showing, a bit of uh, damage. Kloss, classic, classic, classic four sort of uh, costume look. Um, but again, if you read Marvel zombie comics like I have, you would have seen these before anyway. Um, but he's pretty cool, and of course, if you looked on the back, probably want to show you. You'll know who's last. But uh, but but uh, but it is Victor, 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 Victor Von Doom, uh, Zombie Doctor Doom, Sludge coming from the fingers, Sludge coming from the other fingers. Um, uh, in terms of decaying, not too bad. Um, in fact, yeah, you're all right. Oh, the cape's got a few holes in that at the back. These definitely, I definitely should. I have, I have Funko Pops. Of all the opposites of these, it would be quite cool to do like a mirror image, like line up all a, a photo. Because I'm, I'm, I, well, I will get to this in a sec. Actually, well, I'll, I'm going to bring someone up in a sec. Um, so yeah, there's Zombie uh, uh, Doctor Doom, looking pretty cool. Doctor Doom's just an awesome character, anyway. I know Marvel fans cannot wait to see him in the MCU. Uh, Marvel fans enjoy reading him. We've enjoyed having him in the Marvel comics for all this time. Uh, probably one of the most popular and well-known villains. In all of comics, that's included against DC and stuff. Amazing, amazing character. But there we go, visuals. That was my recent... Uh, uh, can you as well be... Uh, there's more bugs and shit behind it than that. We've got um, Godzilla breathing his atomic breath. Uh, but yeah, there's the collection uh, so far. Hashtag, hashtag slash recent Funko buys. Yeah, so before we get into it, I was actually going to uh, uh, suggest, right, because obviously this channel's tiny, it's small, it has its core audience, and um, that's down to me being just, just shit at the job, I'm just doing it because I love it, uh, and I was saying to B, I was like, it'd be quite cool if I got a bit more active on my Instagram and that, but like, I'm not, I'm not funny, I, I haven't really got any talents, you know, I, I'm thinking I could do, might try and do shorts on Instagram, or shorts on, maybe make a TikTok, even though I don't like TikTok, uh, but I only don't like it because... Or I only know it as, like, people just doing little dances. B's showing me the other side of TikTok where people do, like, art and stuff like that. And I think maybe I've judged it a bit too early. 
said maybe I should get because I've got a lot of really cool shit. We've just done the house tour flex and whatnot. If I try and buy some proper stuff like a photo box and that, should I get some of my figures, uh, even Lego sets and whatnot, and try and take some really cool nerdy pictures of like, like I said, we could have we could have Pegasus dueling. Uh, you ah, we don't have one of your Funko ones. We could have we could have Kyber Dawn and Yugi, and we could have um, take a picture from like behind. So you're like behind Kyber, then we'll sit Blue Eyes in front of him, and there'll be you know we we could take some cool pictures, even the plushies and whatnot, and the other action figures. We can mix match. We can have Rick and Rick 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 and Morty Rick and Morty figures teaming up with with my with my Goku's and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know, and like, put it out on either the Instagram Visual Guys page or start like a TikTok or some shit. But let us know because there won't be like. Oh, that's a lovely, well-crafted photo. With it, it will just be again a fat idiot having a bit of fun taking pictures of his collection collectibles. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Because I mean, maybe I should just do it anyway and see how it goes. Yeah, fuck it. We'll see how it goes. Again, uh, because we are such a small channel, uh, we have our core audience. The the core audience will know pretty much. Oh, oh, what's that, Jet? Jet, I'm setting off. Why are you setting off? Lad for work telling me setting off. Um, yeah, cool, wicked. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the core is that sort of saying. Uh, they'll know what collections, uh, collectibles and stuff I've got because I've shown them all off a million times. And um, yeah, wicked. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we will do it. Because they'll be like, hey, Dan, I know you've got this. Can you do a picture of that? That'd be quite funny. Ah, we'll see how it goes. Where was yours? There was the flex. There was the collection. That was everything. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully you can now, Wabuski, Wabuski, let me know in the comments below which is your favourite Funko of the recent purchases we've just recently got. And let us know anything you want to know about, it doesn't fucking matter what it is, you can tell me about if you enjoyed a recent football match or uh, back to the cinema. If you've been to the cinema, uh, any new comic you've read, your favourite Pokemon card you've pulled, whatever, favourite Lego stick, I don't care. All I care is about talking to you guys. So visuals, from the bottom of my heart, I love each and every single one of you so fucking much. Robert Wabuski, keeping you and keep on uh, keeping up. I'll show you, I'll, I'll leave it for after look. Have I got it, have I got it in shot? Look at this, look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. Hey! I, I, hopefully I got that in shot. Shit, no. Ah! Oh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, it's all going to, it's all going to tits up.